Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be turning our vanilla Rust server into a modded one by installing Oxide and a few plugins. So let's get into it. Hello, so before we begin, I just want to make sure that we all have our servers set up because this tutorial assumes that you do have a server good to go. If you do not have one, I've created a tutorial which will show you how to create a server just like this. Um, but you want to make sure that your server is up to date. Before we begin, I just want to go ahead and head over to my updater. So you want to update your server the same way you've been doing it before, if you followed my tutorial, we'll have a little batch file here, which we can run to update our server. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run that, make sure that we have the latest version before we install Oxide. Okay, so my server is now up to date. I'm good to install the latest version of Oxide. So I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to that website now and install it. Okay, so I'm on umod.org slash game slash rust. There'll be a link in the description to this website. What we wanna do is just head over to the latest version here for Windows, or if you're on Linux, go ahead and install the Linux version. You're gonna hit download. Okay, so you'll see that it may say that this is not commonly downloaded and may be dangerous if you're using Chrome. I'm just gonna go ahead and click keep. Okay, so now I have that downloaded here. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this zip folder. Then I'm gonna to navigate to where my server is installed. So I have it on my C drive. UT Rust server. Okay, and then you'll notice that we have Rust dedicated data inside the zip file here, and then we also have Rust dedicated data. So you wanna do is just drag this into the root directory here. And then you're gonna to wanna to replace the files in this destination. There we go. So now we have Oxide installed, and I'm gonna go ahead and close out the zip folder here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start up my server just to verify that it is installed correctly. Okay, so now that our server is up, I'm just going to go ahead and run find oxide. And then this will show us a list of commands that are related to oxide. So you can see we have all these here. I'm just going to type oxide dot version. And then you can see that we're running oxide dot rust version 2.0.4944. And you can see it matches the website right here. Uh, so oxide now is installed. So we're good to go there. Next thing I want to do is actually go ahead and install a plugin. I think one of the most popular ones is like a gathering one where you change the rates of the gathering. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. Okay, so I'm on the UMOD plugin section for Rust, and you can see that we have an option to sort by the most downloads. And one of the most downloaded ones is the Gather Manager. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And you can find some information about it. Um, there's a lot of configuration options here. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit download. Okay, so I've already downloaded this before, so you can see that there's a one here. I'm just gonna go ahead and press F2 uh, to rename it. I'm just gonna remove that one, just in case that causes any conflict. So I'm just gonna hit enter to change that real quick. Then I'm gonna head over to my server files here and I'm gonna open up Oxide. And then I'm gonna to go to plugins. And then from here, I'm gonna drag in the gather manager. Awesome. Now I'm gonna go ahead and head into my server here. And you can see gather manager was compiled successfully um, in 2180 milliseconds. So you can see here, we have some options here for these commands. I'm just gonna go ahead and run oxide.plugins. Now you can see that it is successfully installed, so our server will be running this plugin correctly. Let's say we want to configure this plugin. Let's just go ahead and head over to Oxide. We're gonna to go to config, and then you can see that we have this gathermanager.json. So inside our gathermanager.json, you can see here that we have an option uh, to configure a variety of things. Um, you can go ahead and use this config file to configure your plugins. Usually whenever you download a plugin, it will generate some form of config file with JSON. You have to understand with JSON, there are rules, so you have to make sure that you are following the proper syntax, otherwise you can break the config file. So once we're satisfied with our changes that we made, we're gonna go ahead and save the file here, and then we're gonna use the oxide.reload command. So I'm gonna say oxide.reload, and I'm gonna to try to type in the correct name here. I believe this might work. Uh, could it find plugin gathering manager? Let's try oxide.reload uh, gather manager let's try that there you go unloaded plugin and loaded the plugin so our config file will update and we have successfully modded our server and installed a plugin so if you guys have any questions feel free to comment down below i always answer any comments that i get i'm trying to be really good about that and please make sure to subscribe like this video and stick around for more so i hope you guys have a wonderful day or night and uh take care